you guys welcome back today i'm going to be filming a vlog just a casual day around here i think i'm going to get out my christmas porch decor and kind of decorate out there i'm really excited for that last night i was coming home driving through our neighborhood and i saw everybody literally like the day after thanksgiving all had their christmas lights on outside and i was like okay they must all be on the same page so i need to get on top of things and get my christmas stuff outside too i got it inside as you guys have probably seen my past couple of decorating videos but before i get into decorating outside and some other things i want to do today i just received a package and you know who's going to be the most excited is this guy right here and the other guy who's in the other room so this is the package that just came it's from bark box and i've been wanting to try out bark box for so long and if you guys love your dogs as much as i do i think this is something you should definitely try because it's just really fun so he's joined us now for those that aren't familiar with bark box it is a monthly subscription box but it's for your dog so i just think this is such a fun idea it's completely tailored to your dog so when you sign up for it you enter your information like your dog's size, their play style, stuff like that. So bandits might be a little bit different than dudes because he's a little bit smaller, but we will see. I have not opened either one of these boxes yet because I knew the second I opened them, I wanted to do it on camera to get their initial reaction because I knew they were going to be so excited about it. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. This one is Bark Box and Peanuts. So this is the holiday box and every month they do a different theme so it just makes it a little more fun obviously your dogs will be getting like different things every single month bandit already knows this is for him okay let's see can you sit you have to sit down i did not realize this many toys came in it there are one two three toys obviously you don't have to give your dog everything all at once you could save it, give them like one a week or something. Because honestly, dog toys are expensive to buy at the store. So this is honestly like a more affordable way to go. Because I have two large dogs, I think I got pretty much the same box for both of them. Vanda is so smart. He totally knows this is for him. Dude, come here. Look how cute these snowmen are. Here you go, boys. Good boys. Good boys. Here. Oh my goodness, they're so excited. Pick one! Pick one! Dude, you can't get in the box! So, while they're figuring that out, <laughs> I'll show you guys the rest of the box. So, it came with all of these little Peanuts toys. So, that was like their theme. And then they got a bag of treats. These are Franklin's Famous Lamb Chops. And then they got Good Beef Beef Recipe Dog Treats. We'll have to try some of these today. And I'll show you guys. And then Peanut Butter Carob Stick. Oh my goodness, they're going to love this. They love anything peanut butter. In the other box, I do see that one of the boxes has another flavor of treats in it so that's nice because this is quite a big bag so it'll be nice to kind of have a different assortment what else i think is cool is that the bark box toys are exclusively made for bark box oh my goodness they are so happy right now <laughs> okay so i'm gonna leave all the information down below in the description box so you guys can check out bark box for yourself sign up i'll have all the information down there if you have a dog i hope they're not going crazy hearing these squeakers but a big thanks to bark box for partnering with me on today's video they have free shipping you can also sign up to get an extra toy every single month if you want it's really cool i mean especially around the holidays we all want to do something special for our dogs too this is a really easy way for you to just get like a really cool box that already has a ton of stuff in it that your dog's going to be obsessed with now that my dogs are busy playing with their toys now i have some time to go outside and start decorating we actually did get a little bit of snow this morning nothing too crazy but it's gonna be a little chilly out there but it is definitely a little bit colder than i was hoping for it to be to decorate outside today but i do want to get it looking cute out there at least our porch so i'm gonna bring you guys along as i kind of fix it up oh my goodness hey dude what do you think 
think you're doing? Hey, dude. <laughs> you know when the hair goes back, things are getting serious. We gotta get to work. So I'm gonna, well, I gotta get a coat on. And then I'll show you guys what I'm working with out there. Every time I wear this coat, I get so many questions about it too. This is from like two years ago, I think now. But this is a Levi's coat. I think I even saw Target has like a shorter version of this Levi's coat now. But I got this from Nordstrom, a part of their sale, like two years ago. But every time I wear it, I get questions. So I just had to address it now. All right, I'm gonna take you guys outside, show you what I'm working with. Still have my fall stuff out, so you can see. Whew, that looks chilly. <laughs> These are um, two big planters that I actually had in a Christmas haul last year. So I normally put little flocked Christmas trees in there. I gotta change out my rug, my wreath. Still have a pumpkin out, the other one. Like a squirrel completely ate through. It was completely got it. <laughs> So that was kind of funny. All of my stuff is down in the basement. I'm not really doing anything new this year. I'm pretty much just sticking with what I did last year. I have an entire video on my channel of my porch decor last year. That might go a little bit more in depth if you guys want to see that video. I'll have that link down below. But I'm pretty much doing the same exact thing. The only thing different is going to be like my rug. <laughs> down to the basement again. Thank you. All right. Here we go. This is a little light up hanging basket. I actually got another one. This was from Bed Bath & Beyond last year. I got another one this year. The version of it is, I think it's a tiny bit different, but they look similar enough and they're gonna be hanging on hooks out there and they light up, so that's really cute. These right here are both really small little flocked trees from Walmart. So this is actually the same tree that I have in my family room, except it's just four feet tall, not the six and a half foot tree. But this is literally the same flocked tree that I have from Walmart in my family room. Love this tree so much, so I have two of those. Um, and then I just keep them plain. Last year I just put these little bows on top, so I'll probably do that again. Over here, I'm gonna do this rug. This I just got from Target. I think I showed this in a video recently. This is the Studio McGee and Threshold line. So I'm gonna do a little layered action. I'm gonna do that. Then I have a new rug I haven't even opened yet. All right, this is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think it's always nice to get a new rug every year, at least. Like, obviously you don't have to change all your decor every year, but I do think it's nice to at least get a new rug for outside because rugs like this, they don't last a super long time. Especially here with the snow, it'll last like a season. How adorable is this? So I do no red in my house, but my porch has a little red. Oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, let me show you. How cute is this? I'm obsessed. Before I forget, this is the other little hanging basket I got. So, I'm excited to have two of these this year. I probably have to put batteries in it though. So you can tell, this is my new one and this was my one from last year. They're a tiny bit different. I think the only thing different is the pine cones. So that's not even a big deal to me at all. It's still really similar.
baskets up. I couldn't film myself doing it because I needed the stool to actually reach up there. And then this wreath. This is my third year with this wreath. It's a pre-lit wreath from Bed Bath & Beyond. I also have the matching garland to this. We were going to put it up last year and my original plan was to do it around the door but then we realized you can't open the door with the garland up. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could put it like right out here or something, but we might not even really bother with it. I was thinking about letting my mom use it because she is doing red in her basement and I actually thought it would be really cute over at her house. So I might take that garland over there this year. Okay, it is literally getting colder and colder by the second, but this is what it looks like. So really the only thing new this year is that I have another basket and the rugs. So I'll, it's like getting like really cold. It's snowing a little bit harder. So I got to put all this stuff away and I'll show you guys what it looks like tonight with the lights on. I also have to have Joshua put up our points of light which are these right here from Walmart. So they're in different boxes, but it's actually the same thing. We got one of these two years ago and then added another one to it last year. So this is the lazy man's version of Christmas lights, which we always do and love. <laughs> we go all out in the house and then when it comes to outside, we sort of give up. Guys, did I share this? I'm not sure if I did this sign which I got from Target. So adorable, it lights up everything. We had it on a command hook, it fell off. Put it up on a command hook again, it fell down again. <laughs> so it keeps falling down, but the only bad thing is the second time it fell down, this little thing, which the numbers hang on like that, this broke off. So I don't even know, ugh. I just don't know if I can even fix it. I'm gonna try to glue it or something, but I don't know if it's even gonna, like will it even hold the numbers? I don't know. I'm super, super sad about that because I love that so much. And I mean, it would just would have been a huge waste of money really. Um, so yeah, we'll see. See if I can fix that too. <laughs> One thing I wanted to share with you guys, look at these nails. I talked about these in a vlog recently. They're the Kiss Impress, or just press on manicure. I found them at my grocery store. And I showed them in a vlog maybe a month ago. I wore the French manicure last time and then this time I got just like a plain white. And then I filed them down to just be like more natural. It has been two weeks officially. I lost a thumb today, but <laughs> I mean two weeks and they're like what six bucks. I think that is so good and I actually have been getting a lot of compliments on my nails. So I actually bought a couple more packs and I'm really excited about it. I bought more of the French manicure and then I brought bought like this nude color which I think is going to be really pretty too. But yeah, I can't even believe it. Like these have been on two weeks. like. This looks better than a regular manicure. It looks better than acrylic to me. I mean, I know, I mean, it's been two weeks so they're like grown out and like not perfect anymore. But, I mean, that's good. So, I'm gonna eat some lunch now. Um, okay, so, I actually made this soup last night. It's chicken tortilla soup. It is the easiest recipe in the entire world. It's literally just chicken. I probably used about maybe two cups of chicken, like chopped. You can get it already cooked, like rotisserie chicken or whatever from the store. And then I season it with like taco seasoning. And then I do one can of salsa and then one like box of chicken broth, a bag of Mexican cheese, a can of corn, and that's it. I mean, I, honestly, I don't know how healthy it is. It has quite a bit of cheese in it, but it is so good in the easiest recipe ever. If you like chicken tortilla soup and then you can put like some chips in it or something. It's actually 2.30 and I don't know why I'm just now getting to lunch and you can't even see my face. Like 
is this completely pointless? Honestly, decorating outside today took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna take. Guys, we have a lot of Christmas parties coming up, like family Christmases, stuff like that. I'm just getting so excited. I just, I love getting everybody together and I just always get really excited about it. A game that we played with my family over Thanksgiving, Joshua, I mean, he is always buying games all the time. He loves games, but he bought this game. It's called Chameleon. I'll find it and show it to you guys. It is so fun. You have to get it for your family Christmas, get together, whatever. It's not a game that has like a bunch of pieces and stuff. I mean, it's just super easy and fun to play. So let me get it. This is the game, Chameleon. The best way I can describe it is if you've ever played the game Mafia, it's very, very similar to that. So, super fun. I'm not even gonna try to explain it. You guys can look it up, but um, it's just a really fun, easy, like family game to play that we're literally going to be playing probably at every family Christmas party. Okay. I'm gonna eat this, then we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. I'm probably just gonna wait for Joshua to plug in those Christmas lights. I don't know, do I dare take the dogs for a walk in this snow? I feel like I should, but I don't know. We'll see, I'm gonna eat this and then figure out what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Okay, I now I have a sweatshirt on because I decided I am gonna take them for a walk even though it has gotten so cold outside. One thing I forgot to put out on my porch are, <laughs> of course, he's right here, these lanterns. I've had them out ever since I got all like my Christmas stuff out. Um, so I put them together like this last year with those little mini ornaments in it and then I put the bows on them last year. So they do need more batteries, which I realized we need to <laughs> buy more batteries, but those are gonna go in front of the planters and I totally forgot about them. Okay, I've not worn my snow pants yet this year, so I have to find those. I might need this half, actually. And then I know I'm going to get questions about this coat, so. This was actually, if you guys can even see it, because well, it's 4.30 and it's basically dark out. So this coat was a gift from Joshua for our anniversary last year. Definitely a pricier coat. It's a Canada, what's it called? Canada Goose, is that what it's called? Um, it's even focusing, but I, I feel like I have gotten a couple questions about it before, but I just thought I would tell you guys. Joshua got it for me. It was actually an anniversary slash congratulations on a 100,000 subscriber gift. That's what he got me. So that was really sweet. I've wanted one of for a really long time. And it is literally the warmest coat in the world. These gloves, by the way, a couple more of my press on nails have fallen off. These gloves from Walmart, love those. All right, I think I'm ready to go. I know I look horrible now because I went on a walk and I just, I don't know, at the end of the day, kind of starting to feel gross. But I just grilled chicken, if you guys can see it. Um, surprisingly, even in the cold. But it looks very delicious. I have rice on, and we're gonna have some green beans. If you see lights flickering on me, Joshua just got home and he is getting the points of light already. We'll see how it goes. I think he was having trouble with one of the batteries in one of them. So I don't even know if they're both gonna work, but we'll see. There he is. Oh, he does he, he has both of them on. There he is, working hard out there. <laughs> Okay. How's it looking? All right, so this is what it looks like 
the points of light. Joshua has to move one because I just kicked it on accident. Um, so I have to get more batteries because I only have a battery in that one. I don't have a battery in that one yet. And then I have to get batteries for my lanterns. But other than that, I think the boys really like it too. This is everything all finished. That's all we're doing outside. And don't make fun of our orange extension cord. <laughs> I know it doesn't go, but whatever. All right, guys. So I know the lighting is probably really bad right now because it's super dark outside. I'm just watching Joshua try to figure out where to point the lights. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I pretty much did the same exact stuff on my porch last year. So I will have that video linked down below too if you guys want more details or just to check it out for fun but i hope you guys are doing well thank you so much for watching this video go ahead subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night i'm watching bachelor probably or bachelorette um so hope you guys enjoyed comment down below let me know what you guys thought of today's video and i will see you really soon in my next one